Hi friends, any idea what is happening here? Yes, exactly. The insect is pollinating the flower, blissfully unaware what vital role it is playing in the life cycle of this plant. And can you tell me what type of pollination is happening here? Yes, exactly. This is cross pollination. I'm sure you remember that in the previous session we talked about the process of self pollination. And so friends, in this session, let us drill down deep into the topic of cross pollination. Friends, we are aware that pollination is nothing but transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of either the same flower which is self pollination or it can be different flowers. So, that process in which pollen grain from the anther of a flower of a plant is transferred to the stigma of another flower of some different plant. Then that process is called cross pollination and the transfer occurs by means of a pollinating agent or an external agent. So in cross pollination there are two different types of flowers which belong to different plants. That is why the word cross. Now friends, the cross-pollination is also called allogamy or xenogamy. Yes, so the pollen grains which fall on a different flower are actually genetically different, right? So friends, the cross-pollination is actually a common sighting around when the flowers are blooming and it occurs with the help of external agents since the flowers cannot move on their own, right? Now guys, some plants have adapted themselves to perform cross-pollination. Yes, guys, the cross-pollinated plants have certain adaptations or contrivances in them which enable them to successfully cross-pollinate and do not undergo the process of self-pollination. So let us now see what are the contrivances or adaptations that a plant has for cross-pollination. The very first adaptation for cross-pollination is unisexuality or diclinate. Now, the flowers which undergo cross-pollination are unisexual. We know what a unisexual is. Yes, the male reproductive organs are separate and the female reproductive organs are separate. Now guys, if the male reproductive flowers or the male flowers and the female flowers, they lie on the same plant, then such plants are called monoecious plants, right? Like the castor, maize, etc. So in these plants also cross-pollination will occur. And another types are those in which male flowers are present on different plant and female flowers are present on different plant. And such flowers are called dioecious flowers or dioecious plants. The next adaptation is dichogamy. Now friends, in dichogamy what happens is that the male reproductive parts that is the stamens and the female reproductive portion that is the pistil, they mature at different times. And as the maturation occurs at different times, so the mature stamen has to automatically search for the female part which is matured and that is why xenogamy or cross-pollination is again favoured. Now, if stamens mature before the pistil, then that condition is called protandry, which is found in sunflower, salvia, etc. However, if the pistil matures before the stamens, then that condition is called protogyny, and such condition is found in banana, mirabilis, etc. Next, and a very important adaptation for cross-pollination is self-sterility or self-incompatibility. Now friends, self-sterility is a mechanism that a plant has to prevent the process of self-pollination. And therefore, it is also called self-incompatibility. So, it is a kind of genetic mechanism wherein the pollen grain cannot germinate or is not effective on the stigma. As a result of which, the pollen tube is not formed in the pistil or pollen tube is inhibited and so automatically there is no fusion of gametes. When there is no fusion of gametes, there is no fertilization of ovule and automatically there is no seed formation. So, despite of the fact that the pollen grains are viable and the ovule is ov also viable, 
there is a genetic incompatibility between the pollen grain and the pistil and as a result of which self sterility is introduced thus there can be no self pollination and automatically xenogamy is favored or cross pollination is favored the next type of adaptation for cross pollination is heterostyly and heteroanthy now this means that there is a difference in the length of the filament and the style in a flower and as a result of which it is difficult for them to come close now friends if the difference is in the length of the styles then that process is called heterostyly and if the difference is in the length of the filaments of the anther then it is called heteroanthy so because of the difference in the length of the filament and style they cannot come close and thus cross pollination is favored for that flower The next adaptation is hercogamy. In this mechanism friends a physical barrier is present between the anther and the stigma. So as a result of which they are arranged in such a manner that the pollen grains from the anther cannot fall on the stigma of the same flower. As a result of which automatically xenogamy or cross pollination will be favored. Now examples of hercogamy can be in orchids. wherein the pollen grains are enclosed in special structures called pollinia and that is why they cannot readily fall on the stigma of the same flower now friends all of these adaptations for cross pollination have a name which is outbreeding devices so obviously these adaptations are like devices which are promoting outbreeding Now friends as i mentioned that cross pollination requires an external agent right now the external agent required for transfer of the pollen grains in different flower can be biotic that is living agent or it can be abiotic agent that is a non living agent like wind air water etc So based on these agents the names of the cross pollinations are also different so there are different types of cross pollination based on the agents of pollination and about those types of pollinations we shall study in our upcoming session and let's now quickly summarize whatever we have talked about cross pollination and adaptations in this session Cross pollination is transfer of pollen grains from the anther of the flower of one plant to the stigma of the flower of another plant with the help of any agent. Adaptations for cross pollination are unisexuality which means that the flowers are unisexual, dichogamy which means that the male and female parts of bisexual flowers mature at different times, self sterility is a mechanism in which plant make themselves sterile to prevent self pollination heterostyly in which length of filament and style in a flower is different and hercogamy in which a physical barrier is present between anther and style 